Ever since I started the YouTube channel, one of my favorite things to do is read through your comments and suggestions. Every single one of my gear reviews, I am guaranteed to see a question relating to which glove I like more versus another. Now, usually in that comment section, I just respond with a very brief explanation as to why I like one glove versus the other, and I give different reasons as to why. However, I get asked so many times that just putting a tiny little comment won't always answer every single question. So I decided to make a series out of it. I'm going to call this series Glove vs. Glove. That way you can get my opinion on which glove I would pick over the other. And in my opinion, which one I think is the better purchase. So I figured we'd start out this series with a banger with one of the most common questions I get about two Fairtex gloves. We're going to go with the fan favorites, Fairtex BGV-1 and Fairtex BGV-9. So let's put them head to head and see which one will come on top with Glove vs. Glove. What's up everybody and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source of combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster tomorrow, and welcome to Glove vs. Glove. Like I said at the intro, I get questions about which gloves I like versus others in all of my gear review comments, and I usually give a brief answer, but I finally decided to sit down and make a dedicated video for it. I want this to be a regular series, so please drop your comments below to let me know which gloves that you want to see pitted up to next in this death battle of boxing gloves. My whole goal for this video is to tell you all the details about these two gloves in their entirety and then put them head to head. So I'm going to talk about the gloves individually. Now, first First, I want to emphasize that yes, at the end of this, I'm basically going to tell you which glove that I would buy above all, but it does not mean that you might like one versus the other. Remember, this is my opinion, but I think it might help you in your buying choice. I'd also like to say that this is a perfect example of one of the most common questions that I get on my YouTube videos. I made reviews for these back to back about three years ago, and I still get questions on which one I like more. However, you can see we got two completely different gloves made by the same exact brand. So once again, whenever you go to buy something, Something by a certain brand does not mean that it's going to fit exactly the same as every other glove that they make. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into reviewing these gloves by themselves briefly, and then we'll go into the head-to-head. -head. But let's start off with the absolute fan favorite, the Fairtex BGV-1. Like I said, I want to start out with the undoubted fan favorite, the Fairtex BGV-1, which a lot of people consider the Muay Thai, or at least the Fairtex Muay Thai standard. Some of your favorite fighters that you've watched have constantly trained in these, and like I said, you've probably had some teammates that have used these in the past. This glove is so popular, especially in the United States, because a lot of people will use this as their first pair of Muay Thai gloves because they are a perfect Muay Thai glove design. I want to give you a rough idea of the differences between a Western style boxing glove and a Muay Thai glove before we go any further. So as I said, this is a Muay Thai glove. So therefore, it is going to be a little bit shorter and stockier in nature. Usually the wrist has a hinge type design to it. The knuckle padding is very thin. That way you have more flexibility to open and the thumb is on the outside. So you're your hands able to open and close much easier to get a good grip. Now the reason why Muay Thai gloves do this is because a lot of Muay Thai isn't just striking, it's grappling too. They work the clinch a lot. In fact, in Muay Thai, punches are actually the lowest scored effective strike in Muay Thai, with I believe kicks being first, knees, elbow, and then they scored the clinch. Punches are not favored amongst a lot of Muay Thai practitioners. Let's start out with the model I have and the different sizes that you can get when it comes to the BGV-1. Firstly, the exact model I have is a 16 ounce yellow pair of BGV-1s. However, they have tons of different colors from solid colors, country flags, and even some limited edition designs that they release. I think they actually have a cool green dragon design that's out right now. So you have a ton of different color designs. You can also get a lot of different sizes, going all the way down to four ounces, all the way up to the cap at 16, which I have in front of you. So overall, it's a very versatile glove as far, far as color and sizing goes. So you have tons of options. When we talk about the price, it kind of varies depending on what you're getting these from, but I am basing off fairtechstore.com, and these gloves right now are going for $89.99 which is about the average that you're going to see somewhere else. However, I see them on Amazon and Nakamoy Wholesale for a lot cheaper, upwards of 60 to 70 bucks. However, it all depends on the design and where you get them from as well. When we go into the build of the glove, you can talk about the outer shell being made out of a very nice high quality cowhide leather that Fairtex tans and tailors themselves at their factory. The padding is one solid mold up at the top and the wrist has no padding in the bottom. However, the mold at the top is Fairtex's three layered standard padding system. Three layered system that Fairtex uses comprises of three layers, one being EVA foam for the base, the latex core in the middle, and then of course the high density foam at the top to cushion your knuckles. 
You'll notice compared to a lot of boxing gloves out there that the padding is very thin and it is kind of stiff, especially when you push in towards the knuckles. The EVA foam definitely feels like it's cradling your knuckles, but it is not the most pleasant feel to get hit with. The padding is much softer at the base of the hand and around the thumb, and the thumb is very fat to allow you to have a good grip. You can also see that we have a cloth thumb attachment, which sometimes I have seen cloth thumb attachments snap off because they tend to fray over time. When we open the glove up, you can see that we have no grip bar to speak of at the top and that's a lot better grip and clinch you can see that we have some breathe holes in the center and we have a piece of padding on the side to drill with your partner and to catch kicks and punches like a lot of standard Muay Thai gloves you'll notice that the wrist strap is very short which does not provide the best wrist support and on top of it the strap is not very long as far as the actual closure goes. A good positive of the wrist strap is that the Velcro is very strong and it's very durable. When we go to the interior lining, you can see that we have a stretch of nylon on the inside, which is a little baggy, but towards the bottom, you can see we actually have leather. And I don't really know why Muay Thai gloves do that, but it feels good and it feels like it wraps on the back of your wrist a little bit easier. Your hand slides into the glove very, very easy in this case. And once again, it has a pretty nice, comfortable, compact feel to it. Although fair tax for a lot of tie gloves out there actually has a bigger hand compartment compared to some brands such as Twins, Yokao, and Top King. The glove fits very snug, but I will tell you that because of that hidden style wrist, the wrist support is not very good on these gloves. And I have had teammates in the past that have used these, and I've met other people that have used these that said that they have damaged or even broken their wrist using these gloves. As I mentioned earlier, the padding is very, very thin. So if you really like to punch through someone's guard, it's very easy to do so in these gloves. But if you have brittle hands, especially knuckles, they will break using these gloves a lot easier than some other gloves out there. However, for the clinch, because the thumb being on the outside and not enough padding towards the top, it is very flexible and it opens very easily and you can get some of the best grips out of any Muay Thai glove out there. It grips very easy around the wrist, around the back of the arms, the neck, and even the top of the head. Overall, the grip and the clinch in this glove is very, very high level and that's why a lot of Muay Thai practitioners love using these gloves. Because of the build and composition of these gloves, they are incredibly durable and I give them a shelf life upwards of three to four years if you take care of the leather. They do also have a synthetic version and a lace-up version if you don't like the Velcro. Now we're moving on to Fairtex's take on a Mexican style puncher's glove and actually the model itself is the BGV9 Mexican style heavy hitters training glove. Now to give you a rough idea of what a Mexican or puncher's glove is, it's usually a glove that you can feel each and every punch in and that recoils off as you punch. The reason why it's called a Mexican glove is because Mexican boxers over the years have been known to throw volumes and volumes of punches, which is why they like puncher's gloves and their country is most well known for making these styles of gloves to accommodate their fighting style. For the model that I have, I chose a 16 ounce pair of yellow BGV nines. I usually pick yellow when it comes to Fairtex because something just pops out about Fairtex yellow but you still have a ton of different color designs when it comes to these. I think when I counted, it was upwards of 15 to 17 different colorways you can get for this glove. As far as size goes for this glove, you have the options of 10 through 16 ounces, but nothing less and nothing more. As far as I've seen for pricing, these gloves go for about $99 or hundred bucks flat, depending on where you get them. Although most sites that I see have them listed for that price, whether it be fairtex.com, Amazon, or even Nakamoy Wholesale. When we talk about the build and construction of the glove, we can talk about the outer shell being made out of a very high quality cowhide leather that Fairtex tailors and tans at their own factory. Fairtex states that these have a multi-layered foam padding, but if I had to tell you, it's probably the same exact type of padding system that they use in a lot of their other gloves. They're patented three-layered padding technique, which is EVA, latex, and a high-density foam at the top. However, it does feel like there's more latex in this glove than some others, primarily because Puncher's Glove tend to be made out of latex for that nice bounce and recoil when you punch. You can also see that these gloves have one solid mold at the top, but they have a very thin thumb compared to some other Mexican style puncher's gloves out there, which stops kind of short and my thumb does hit the tip a little bit. The thumb is much more tucked behind the knuckles, which still allows for a decent clinch because the glove is flexible, but at the end of the day, this glove is much more for punching than it is clinch work. The thumb, they have a really nice contraption where the thumb attachment is leather and it actually goes into the other part of the hand, which allows the thumb to get into a nice natural fist position at all times. When we flip the glove around, you can see that you actually have black coloration that I didn't mention earlier, which complements the glove very well, but most other models are the solid color on the back and black at the front. 
You can see here that this glove does have a grip bar, which is relatively firm compared to the rest of the glove, and you still have some breathe holes that are going through here. The thumb piping on the inside is a little tight, but not too bad at all. Another part about this glove that a lot of Mexican style gloves use is that they actually have some counterweight here. That way it's not so much of a top heavy glove in the shape of padding. And what this does is it actually helps you block some punches when you're training. That way your arms are getting beat up at the end of the day. The wrist strap is wide and short, and it's actually hooked in onto the inside of of the interior compartment. When we talk about the interior lining, you have your standard stretch nylon that you get with a lot of other puncher's gloves as well. You can also see for decent wrist support, there's actually a raised bridge here that has padding on the back of decently soft foam. That way it compresses the back of your hand. Your hand will slide very easily into this glove as well. And it also, once again, forms a lot more of a natural punch position for a heavy puncher. Like I said, my thumb is touching the tip of this a bit because the thumb is somewhat short, but my fingertips are touching the bottom very comfortably. I will say though, and it does have a kind of puncher's feel, some Mexican style gloves will do this, to where you have a feeling of denim or canvas at the front. It's not irritating compared to some other gloves out there, but some people may not like that. The interior is slightly smaller compared to some other Mexican style puncher's gloves, but there is still enough room for you to wrap your hand pretty good. Like I said earlier, you have a pretty wide wrist strap, which does promote good wrist support, but I wish it was a little longer. And on top of it, you can strap it down here pretty good as which stabilizes the back of your wrist as well as the back padding here but one thing i do notice that it is kind of easy to curve your wrist up down and to the side i think the reason why is because fairtex is trying to make a nice puncher's glove that will allow you to clinch but this glove actually does pretty well these gloves do open very good you can get very easy grips on the back of the wrist back of the arms top of the head and the back of the neck so overall it's a very flexible glove especially if you're a puncher that likes to catch and parry a lot overall because of the quality you can construction of these gloves, I definitely say that they would last you upwards of three or four years if you take really good care of them. All right, folks, so I've told you briefly about both gloves individually, but now it's time to compare and contrast them head to head. That way we can come up with a winner so you can know which ones I prefer at the end of the day and in turn, which ones I would recommend to you. So to determine a winner of this contest, we are basically going to give tallies to each category. So we're going to go through a ton of different categories, such as price, knuckle protection, comfortability, things of that nature. And whichever glove wins the most categories in turn wins the contest. So let's start out with the biggest question you're always going to get asked when it comes to your new pair of gloves how much do those cost let's start out with price all right so as i talked about earlier with price the fairtex bgv1 is the cheaper of the two these go for 89.99 and most wholesalers that you will see such as nakamo wholesale and amazon actually have them listed for the same price but i have seen them on different websites go from anywhere to 65 to 70 dollars so you can get these cheaper from different areas but for the sake of argument let's go with fairtex's uh, website and their price and that is $89.99 compared to the BGB9, which is $99.99. So you basically got a $10 comparison here. So in my opinion, there really is no winner for this bracket, or we can both call that we can call them both winners for this one, because basically $10 shouldn't discern that much of a quality or durability jump of anything that way. It's just more or less what you're looking for. And at the end of the day, I think $10 difference is not enough to really blast one of them out of the water. So I say they both win this round. Let's talk about variety now, because a lot of people like to have different variety with the things that they buy. When I mentioned the BGV9 earlier, I mentioned you can get these anywhere from 10 to 16 ounces, which are your standard boxing glove sizes. And then on top of it, you can get upwards of 15 different colorways. And there's also synthetic leather versions of this glove. But with that said, there are way more colors and you can also get these in lace up and in a synthetic leather type version. Version. You can also get them in a lot of different designs, such as your uh, country's flag. You can get them in uh, limited edition designs. They have art versions of these gloves. In general, too, as far as sizing goes, you can get these anywhere from four to 16 ounces, which is a lot of options, can fit virtually any person of any size, of any age. So at the end of the day, I say that the BGV1 wins the category of having more variety. The next category is quality. Are these gloves good quality? And the answer is virtually everything that you're gonna get from Fairtex is very high quality. They use very high quality materials. The stitching is in the right places. The glove is made the way it's supposed to be made. And in general, they are going to do what you want them to do. So at the end of the day they're both virtually the same thing like i said only a ten dollar window of uh price difference so overall quality of the gloves is dead even fairtex makes incredible equipment now the next category is durability and as i mentioned earlier it's similar to quality in that they're both made out of the 
same exact materials for the most part. There are slight differences as far as the overall designs of the gloves, but at the end of the day, I still gave them both a shelf life of three to four years if you take good care of them. So when it comes to durability, I say they would last you just about the same depending on what you're doing with them. So long as you take care of them, I say durability, they both win as well. All right, so we talked about the glove itself, but now let's go into the functionality of the glove and start out with knuckle protection. As I mentioned with the BGV-1, that the glove is much flatter than most gloves out there, and they don't focus so much on the knuckle padding because this glove is designed more for clinch, in my opinion. But whereas this glove, the heavy hitter's glove, is meant more for punching, and it is designed much more of a Mexican-style, Western-style boxing glove. So the idea is the padding is not necessarily thicker, but it feels a little bit more firm and at the end of the day it is a lot more contoured to protect your knuckles with a different curvature than being just entirely flat so at the end of the day the bgb9 for me wins the knuckle protection category all right so now we can move on to the other part and that is the back of the hand and the wrist and i want to talk about the wrist support once again with the bgv9 having it attached to the inside of the glove some people like that i personally don't but it does have a pretty thick uh, wrist strap that covers the back of your wrist and actually the top of your hand to protect the metacarpals and tarsals as well. The other part too is you can see they got wrist padding at the top and the bottom and the padding on the back is actually a little bit more firm which displaces shock on your wrist compared to back here which is much softer and creases in a lot more and on top of it the short wrist cuff is not that good for wrist support. So at the end of the day for me the BGV9 wins the wrist support department. Another piece of functionality that a lot of people should think about more is thumb placement because there's nothing worse than jamming your thumb at the end of the day. Now, like I said, both gloves are different because you have one that's mainly for punching, one that's mainly for clinch work. So this glove naturally has an open thumb to allow for more clinch. I usually wouldn't award a winner in this department, but the only reason why I'm going to is I think as far as quality goes and differences, this is where you see it with a cloth thumb attachment. And I have seen this cloth thumb attachment fray and fall off with this glove in particular and on top of it I can't knock the thumb for coming out so far because that's what a clinch glove is going to do but with this glove you can see that we actually have a leather thumb attachment that tends to actually wedge to the inside of the glove and keeps your thumb in a much better place overall I say the thumb is fatter on the BGV1 it's much more narrow on the BGV9 and my thumb has touched the tip a little bit so I, I usually wouldn't award a winner in this category and in fact I don't think I'm going to because they both fall short in a couple areas. Uh, they both do what they're supposed to do for their own design gloves. So we're just going to say they both don't win in this department. All right, now we're going to move on to the palm of the glove. And I always emphasize the palm because it always depends on what you're looking to do. In this case, I always think partner drills or overall protection when it comes to sparring. And in this case, I like the vgv 9s palm much better because you have a grip bar that actually gives you a nice natural fist. The interior of uh, uh, padding that goes on at the base of the wrist is great for catching kicks it's also great for catching punches so your arms don't get so bruised at the end of your training session compared to the bgv1 which has no padding in the middle at all except for on the side you have one tiny little piece of foam there maybe to catch kicks and maybe to catch a punch or two but at the end of the day the palm is just completely barren i think that's more or less to allow good clinch but we'll get to that later but in my opinion the palm is much better on the bgv9 now let's get to the inside of the glove as far as that functionality goes and that is the interior lining in my opinion i think the bgv9's interior lining is slightly better because it is much more stretched to the inside of the glove whereas the bgv1 i find that towards the tips of the fingers and the back of the hand i have to constantly move and readjust all the lining there because it is slightly baggy so i don't really like having to constantly readjust my fingers i don't like having to constantly move my hand around i like the interior lining a lot better on the bgv9 i think it's more comfortable although some people may not like the rougher feel towards the tips of the fingers i find if you wear hand wraps you can't even really feel it that much but overall i think the interior lining is much better on the bgv9 a very important piece especially when it comes to me as a professional mixed martial artist and that is clinch which glove do i think clinch is better 
Now, as I've mentioned before, the BGV-1 is much more designed for clinch work, but don't sell the BGV-9 short. It's actually a very flexible glove, and as you can see, it's actually pretty open right off the bat. It's easy to close your fist in this glove as well. It doesn't keep it open so much compared to this glove where it is kind of hard to keep your hand open, and on top of it, whenever I open and close my hand in this glove, my fingers kind of crawl out a little bit, even if I wrap my hands up big and tight. So I don't like that it does that. Compared to the BGV-9, which opens very easily, to catch and parry punches, to grab good clinch and everything like that. This might come as a surprise to some people, but in my opinion, the BGV-9 has better clinch as well. Then we always have to come down to comfortability. Which glove is just more comfortable to wear? Honestly, they're both reasonably comfortable to wear, but I will say with a short and stocky glove like this, you might find that your hand feels cramped. I know mine do because my hands are big, but unlike a lot of other tie gloves out there, it actually has a pretty wide circumference on the inside of the hand compartment. Overall, feels pretty good, but like I said, sometimes you have to move the fingers around a lot and you have to readjust the glove a lot, which is never comfortable. So as far as comfortability goes, your hand stays in the same place at all times with the BGV-9. Uh, your fingers are tucked away at all times, and and you never really have to readjust the glove all that much. It doesn't slide down your arm a whole lot, which I always appreciate when it comes to my boxing gloves. So with that said, I think overall comfortability, not by a lot, but the BGV-9 wins. Now for me, the BGV-1 I would use for MMA fighters and Muay Thai practitioners because of the clinch factors to it. You can clinch very easily in these gloves because that's what they're designed to do, but they don't really protect your knuckles all that well. So you can't use them for boxing or strictly kickboxing because you're gonna be punching a lot more in those sports. Whereas the BGV-9 is designed to kind of do, for me, all of it. I can clinch very good in Muay Thai with these. I can uh, punch very well in boxing and in regular style kickboxing with these. And overall, the just comfortability and the overall motion of the gloves. You can hit pads, bags, uh, spar in these very easily as you can with these. But I think overall, you can use these for any sport that involves punching and they will do a better job than the BGV-1. So in my opinion, the BGV-9 is a much more so at the end of the day, some of these findings might have surprised you, especially for me, the clinch factor, but I have to say that the BGV-9 for me is overall the superior glove as they have one more categories, in my opinion. Remember that, it is my opinion, but I like the BGV-9 a lot more than I do the BGV-1, and I gave you a lot of specific reasons as to why. So folks, at the end of all of our categories, there is a clear winner, and that is the Fairtex BGV-9. For me, this glove just checks off more boxes for me personally. And remember, at the end of the day, this is suiting me and my opinion. Just because the BGV-9 is my favorite glove out of these two, does that mean that you can't like the BGV-1 more than the BGV-9? It all comes down to body type, preference, and overall mindset when it comes to your gloves and your equipment. And I'm sure there were some categories that absolutely blew you away, especially the clinch work when it comes to the BGV-9. I have found these very easy to clinch in. I have found that my knuckles actually are pretty well padded in these and the wrist support in these gloves is very well. They also have very good comfortability and overall they are durable and the Fairtex quality is unmatched as far as Muay Thai standards go. When it comes to the BGV-1, I do like these gloves a lot and believe it or not, I use them quite often just like I do the BGV-9. However, I just think there are qualities in this glove that are unsafe for the general general user and there are better Muay Thai gloves out there and that's why you see a lot more people using twin special gloves over the BGV-1 nowadays. But I think the BGV-1 is one of the most popular pairs of gloves out there when it comes to beginners starting in Muay Thai because it doesn't necessarily break the bank. They are very exceptional quality glove and they're going to do everything that you need them to do especially when it comes to the sport of Muay Thai. When it comes to the overall versatile glove, I think you can use these for Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing, even it came to Kempo, Karate for all I care you can use these gloves to punch with a lot easier they protect your knuckles more i think the wrist support is a lot better i think they're a lot more comfortable the clinch work for me is even better my fingers don't fall out and in general i think the interior lining is just stretched a little bit tighter so you don't have to constantly fight to readjust your hands on the inside here and that for me can be a deal breaker with any glove and yes, I know a lot of people are going to choose their favorite color over quality sometimes, but just because this glove doesn't have as many options doesn't mean it doesn't have a lot of options still. I looked it up, over 17 different color options you can get. They also have a synthetic leather version, although I do wish they had a lace-up version as I did not find any, although they might be in a different model number entirely. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you our winner, the Fairtex BGV9 
heavy hitters, Mexican style puncher's gloves, and I have really enjoyed doing this video. So with that said, guys, let me know what pair of gloves that you wanna see face off head to head in the death battle of gloves, glove versus glove. Let me know what you wanna see next. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. But above all, comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and drop suggestions below. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing this video and I really had to think about every single category and every single piece of this video. And if you think I should add more categories, let me know as well and I'll do it because I think there could be more categories. Maybe I could put less categories. or Maybe I need to differentiate the categories more than some others. But like I said, guys, I appreciate all your support. We're at 7.8 thousand subscribers, so please share this with your friends. Tell them to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as well. Smash it the bits, because although it's a small little poke of your finger on your phone, for you, it is a big deal for the channel, and it's a big deal for me. Also, follow me on all my social media pages, whether it be Instagram, TikTok, X, Facebook. I usually try and get back to you as fast as I can now that I figured out how to actually turn off spam for all of my different accounts. You all came up as spam for a little bit I don't know why just did a mass response to like 30 different people so I'm really sorry about that but now I got that all figured out message me on those platforms you can also email me which you can find in the description of this YouTube channel but the easiest way to reach me is always in the comments below make sure you comment and if you want to try these gloves out I put them in the link in the description below but with that said everybody that's been the episode the first official edition of glove versus glove the fairtex bgv9 reigns supreme with that said everyone once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next episode have a great day everybody